Hi, it's Doreen, and this is your weekly Oracle card reading for October 26th through November 1st. I don't know why, but when we change months, I'm always like, really that quickly? <laughs> it's, and, and, but no, October was very full for me with traveling to California and teaching the Angel Intuitive, and congratulations to our new graduates, and also doing some filming for Hay House University and their new video online courses, which I'm so excited about. And so here we are, and we're on the cusp of going into November, and this week there's a full moon on Tuesday. And this will be October 27th, and the full moon will be in my sun sign of Taurus, which I can tell you is a very earthly, grounded um, sign. And so because the full moon is so supportive of releasing, you may feel this pull to let go of anything having to do with earthly habits. So you might be feeling the need to detox, for instance, or to um, go ahead and, and clean up your house and get rid of things and donate them. And just really earthly unblocking is going to happen this week. And then I thought we'd work with a deck of cards we haven't worked with in a while. The Angel Tarot cards that I made with my good buddy, Radley Valentine, because these cards just are so accurate for answering questions in details. Of course, all the card cards are very accurate, but I'll tell you what, I have this app on my iPhone, and when I need a quick answer in the, that's going to corroborate what I'm getting inside, I'll often just go on my app and I'll just push browse, and the card that comes up is always exactly mirroring what I'm getting. So I love this deck because it's just so quick in giving us those answers. It's unwieldy. It's got 78 cards like all of the Tarot system. The difference is that there's no negative cards, nothing scary, no words that are harsh in any way, but it retains the old world meaning, which was, uh, in the beginning it was loving before that the PR campaign happened on it. So Radley and I have worked hard to bring back the original Tarot, which was about fun and beauty and love and support. So here we go. I'm turning it over to God, and I am praying to the Lord, asking for cards to give us insights into this week and what we can expect and what guidance we are receiving collectively, holding the intention that everyone watching this will get messages also from your own individual angels and your own connection to source, to God. So here we go. I've shuffled, and now I'm looking. Well, here's a card that's right side up, so I'm actually going to turn that and shuffle again. So somehow the card just came the other way. <laughs> and if it's supposed to be in the reading, it will show up again. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm looking for cards that are sticking up. And so far, <clears throat> I'm seeing this one. And then I'm going to shuffle again. That'll be Monday, Tuesday. And I trust these cards so much. And sometimes it takes a while for cards to pop up because they want to really be just the right card. So <clears throat> that was Wednesday, Thursday. And here we go. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting for Monday, Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's the card that was right side up, I swear to you. It's the card that I had flipped over and put back in the cards. So, Seven of Fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. So this is interesting. Um, as we start off the week, Monday, the full moon is in the sign of Aries, which sometimes, because of that fire passion, um, can be a little bit aggressive. And Aries, I know you're going to be the nicest people in the world. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the full moon the edge of the full moon in Aries. So the beginning of the week, you might feel a little testy. Also, many of us have what I call moon-itis or full moon-itis. So you might feel tired. And some of us get grumpy, what I call crispy around the edges. And so the beginning of the week might have some of those things come up. It's saying a couple things to you. First of all, just don't take it personally. When it says choose your battles, don't, like, don't get hooked into things, to drama that you really don't care about. It means if you care about it, of course you want to stand your ground and you want to be in touch with what your true opinions are and make sure that they are honored. But if it's someone who's just throwing out bombs of anger trying to see who will play with them, don't play. Life's too short to get involved with draining drama. You don't have to be a part of it. So 
this is interesting. It's just a heads up. It's not a negative card. It's just simply saying, hey, just watch out for this so that you don't get hooked into it. And you'll be glad that you had this heads up when Monday, Tuesday, if anyone is grumpy, including yourself, so you can say, oh, that's what's going on, and not let it be something that's, um, you know, that you think is forever. It's just temporary. Now let's take a look at the Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday's coming up that there's some worries going on. So it's, again, just a heads up. Don't let it bother you. This card really means about that the worries aren't real. They're not founded on anything real. It's, but they can attract the, the thing you're worried about. It's self-fulfilling prophecies. So another heads up, after you've released on Tuesday, you might still have some residue. I'm, I'm talking about some people, because of the full moon, can't sleep. They get insomnia. And then they, because they haven't slept, they, their thinking changes. It's just off. And it's just temporary, darling. I promise you that we're going back to gentle energy very, very soon. But the beginning of the week, there's a little bit of grumpiness, a few worries that come up. And then look at this. By the, this is the weekend card. Here we go. Falling in love with life itself. So it's just like a child who's having a little grumpiness, a little temper tantrum, expecting the worst. Oh no, is the sky falling? But no, it's not. Because as we get to the weekend, ah, we get back in that high vibration of love in our heart chakra. And everything is is in divine and perfect order always, but we know that it's in divine and perfect order as we get to the weekend. So hang in there this week. It looks like it might be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, but you don't have to, to make it worse than it is by thinking catastrophe thoughts. It's just a little speed bump. That's all it is. In fact, there's ways to enjoy it if you can just detach from it and say, oh, this is what's going on, and send love to the situation, send love to yourself, send love to anyone who's grumpy, but don't argue with them, and maybe go stay away from them till they get better. <laughs> just detach from it. Treat it like it's a movie. And it, it's, you know, love everyone. Be responsible, of course. Be compassionate, but don't get sucked into it. I'm not going to. I'm grateful for these cards giving me the heads up, and I hope that you are too. I will be live. Yay, finally I'm back on Hay House Radio this week, and I'm sending you so much love, darling. My prayers are with you. My respect is with you, and please know that all of us are praying on your behalf for you and for your loved ones. Sending you love, angel blessings, and won't you please say it with me? Aloha. Have a beautiful week. Lots of love.